If you've been curious to learn how we put together our DIY rock and roll bed, we're going to show you that right now. So when we were building our rock and roll bed, there was a couple of things that were important for us to consider. Uh, the first of which being that we wanted it to seat more than just the two of us, so we wanted it to be able to seat multiple people. The second thing is we wanted it to be able to have a little bit of storage for us. And last but not least, we wanted the seat part to be comfortable as well as the bed. So to construct the rock and roll bed, we chose to use 80-20 and we chose that because it's made of aluminum, so it's strong and light and it's also really easy to work with. Eric likens it to Meccano for adults. When we built this rock and roll bed, we use uh, steel bolts, which uh, steel and aluminum can react and corrode. So um, through the past year of using it, we've noticed that some of the um, bolts are starting to get loose. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the bed out, we're going to be taking those steel bolts off, replacing them with stainless steel bolts, and then adding a little drop of Loctite, and hopefully that should solve all of our issues. So while we're doing this, uh, you'll be able to see more closely how the bed was constructed, how we put it together, and how it works when it's not necessarily in the van. Sometimes it gives you a more clear picture of how the bed was put together and how it operates. Undo the two hinges on each bed section found at the back of the van. Remove the bed sections to expose the inner skeleton. With a small van, we've had to be resourceful in our use of space. That means that our bed system stores much of our electrics. Disconnect the breakers on the positive feed from your alternator, solar panels, or other sources of electricity. Label and number all electrical connections to ensure you can put it back together easily. Disconnect batteries first, starting with your negative terminals, then disconnect all other electrical connections that are needed to free up the bed skeleton. Before we can remove the bed, all those electrical wires and components will need to be disconnected and removed. Remove all zip ties and cable restraints. Tuck the wires that pass through the skeleton to the sides. Remove the bed skeleton from the van. So, I'll show you how this is done. First, I'm removing the steel bolt, which is just a black steel bolt. And I'm replacing it with a stainless steel bolt. Both of them are M620. This one has a socket head, this one has a cap head. These are the ones you're supposed to use, but in my process of discovery, I started with the uh, socket head, and so that's what I've got. I'm putting a little drop of thread locker on it. Use blue for this small, not red. Uh, red is for large bolts and will probably almost weld it together. This is essentially how the end fasteners work. You put that little bow tie on there. Now I've threaded this. It's got some grass on it, but essentially it's an M6 thread. And I'm gonna get that started thread it almost all the way down and then that will then thread 
slide into that bar, it'll tighten down and clamp the two together. So you get this to a certain point here and then you can tighten it down, not too much, just enough to bend these flanges flat. They're bent at a few degrees. And as soon as you've got them torqued right, they bend flat, they hold tight, and then this can't go anywhere. The other thing I'm going to do is change out these T-nuts. Those are the T-nuts, but those are M4. I want a little more strength, so I'm going to be going to M5. And you can see there's not a lot of difference between the two, but there is some. There's a T4 beside a T5. So in my change to stainless, I'm also going to go to the T5. Getting them into the trough can be problematic sometimes, especially with the size of the hole that I have drilled there. But I'll do it this way. I put it on the screw, just half a thread, and then I can slide it on and thread it off. The other problem too, is that you need to put this one in before you tighten these two up otherwise there's no way to get it in you can get drop-in ones but I find they look a little weaker so I don't want to trust them as much because I want some structure and then zoom in right here I do want to move that that way a little What's that? No, I'm just... Oh. And I want to make sure these line up here. I need... Four and a half. I'm going to grab a washer. These washers are just barely big enough for an M5. So I have to feed it through a little. Getting this one set is the challenge, but once the threads hit, you are generally golden. There we go. Get it just finger tight. Make sure our piece is centered. I'm actually, I'm going to tighten that one once I have the other two tightened up.
so putting it back together. Place all electrical appliances and components in the van like batteries, inverter and charger. Run all wires but don't connect them just yet. Once wires are in their places, then reconnect them. When everything is connected, reconnect the breaker and test all electrical to make sure it works and that no mistakes were made. Fixing a small oversight is easier right now than it will be once everything is back together. New zip ties and cable restraints to tidy up the wiring and protect them from moving parts that can damage them. Move the bed sections back into the van, reattach the bed section hinges, and you're done. So in a nutshell, that's our rock and roll bed. Uh, quite simple when you see what it is underneath. Very minimal amount of material. Makes it very lightweight. The aluminum is lightweight on its own. I think four times they quote um, as light as wood. Um, extremely sturdy. We could probably put 500, 600 pounds on this bed and there'd be no issues at all. Um, we don't have the seat belts on right now. They just loop around the structure underneath and then come up around. Uh, when we're not hauling kids around, we uh, just like to have them out of the way. Uh, but they just are, uh, they loop around. They're easy to put in, easy to take out. Um, but yes, if you have questions, feel free to comment below. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll talk to you soon.